Every day, Australians strive to maintain a healthy lifestyle through regular exercise and effective nutrition. Now, there is another reason to embrace a healthier way of living. Move Over Cancer is the Cancer Council's new campaign aimed at preventing cancer by encouraging a healthy and active lifestyle. Move Over Cancer is a, a new initiative from Cancer Council um, and importantly uh, it's focused on the fact that over 30% of cancers are preventable. So Move Over Cancer is about an active lifestyle, it's about eating better, it's about being more active and by doing those things preventing cancer. As well as eating a healthy diet and being a healthy weight, it's really important that we're physically active because that's one of the things that we can all do to reduce our cancer risk. We should all be aiming for at least 30 minutes of physical activity each day and we do know for cancer the more you can do, the lower your risk of getting um, cancer and particularly things like bowel cancer and breast cancer. To kick off Move Over Cancer, a selection of Australia's leading athletes will go head to head with teams of business leaders and fans in a show that brings sporting pros and weekend warriors together while carrying the important message of maintaining a healthy and active lifestyle. Welcome to Beat the Pros. In this episode, we pad up and take the crease to play Australia's favourite summer pastime. Beat the Pros takes on cricket. The SCG has played host to many famous victories for the New South Wales Blues cricket team. And today, one more will be added to the list. A group of local business achievers will combine with New South Wales' finest male and female cricketing talent to compete over three challenges to determine the winner of this Move Over Cancer episode of Beat the Pros. The adjudicator will be Australian representative Stephen O'Keefe, who has been directly involved with New South Wales Cricket's recent partnership with the Cancer Council. We've had a proud involvement with the Cancer Council as of 2011, basically raising awareness and raising money towards a good cause. I've been lucky enough that no one in my immediate family suffered from cancer. Um, however, one of uh, my mates growing up playing cricket, who is also 29 years old, has just been diagnosed with cancer and, and seeing the devastating effect that it has on his family uh, and also the I guess the confronting nature of it being someone at my age, knowing that anyone can suffer from it, um, I guess is, is another reason why, as a player or even an individual, that I want to get out and help prevent some of these cancers. Uh, you know, my mother is nearly 60, hasn't stepped foot inside a gym in 30 years and just joined the gym. So, you know, if anyone can get out there and start living an active lifestyle, you know, if my mother can do it, anyone can do it basically. And that's inspiring enough for me. The more that we can spread that message out there, um, whether you're young, middle-aged or old like my mother, then you know you can get out there and it's never too late. <laughs> In the true spirit of competition, the group is evenly split between the blues and the yellows. The captains for both teams will be Trent Copeland for the blue and Ben Rohrer for the yellow. Blue team's really on fire at the moment, great form coming into today and I think we're really red hot, ready to go. Strategies would be definitely to probably catch everything that comes our way, uh, hit the stumps as many times as we can and smack them out of the park. Strategy is uh, not to embarrass myself for starters, but uh, Lisa Healy with the gloves, she'll be fantastic in the catching drill. And Benny Dorsius is one of the best all-rounders we've got, so I'm not too worried at all. We're all here today just to have a good time and, and I guess the Cancer Council um, campaign move over cancer is a great one and we're all happy to support it. It's all about having fun and I guess getting that message across. The first challenge requires each team member to bowl two deliveries at the unprotected stumps. 
One point will be awarded for each correct hit. All right, guys, you know the rules. One point for hitting the stump, zero if you miss. Gemma, please keep your elbow nice and straight. Good luck, blue team. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's all about my team. I'll, I'll do anything for this team. <laughs> this is suspect, this action. <laughs> Not bad, Gemma. It's a, it's a big improvement. After the Blues get off to a promising start. Oh. That's horrendous. That's what we'd expect from a rookie contracted member. <laughs> it takes an amateur to get them back on track. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Professionals Sarah Coit and Trent Copeland come close. But Gemma Caprioli tries to get too tricky with her spin. Keep that elbow straight, Gemma, please. <laughs> yes, boss. That's better. <laughs> That's good. Oh, too much spin. Oh, wow. Can you swap shirts with Gemma, actually? That would make more sense. <laughs> oh! Yeah, high five. I'm not impartial. I'm going for the blue tap. The Blues have set the target of three hits. And now it's time for the Yellows to take aim. Uh, six from six it was, so uh, yeah, good luck, guys. <laughs> All right, Yellow team, the score to beat is three. Very impressive from the average Joes and Blues team. Good luck, Benny, kick us off. Oh, he's going cross seam. Oh, got him. Oh. <laughs> not the most confident of starts from Yellow, and it continues to be good, but not good enough. Oh, it's up to the wickety. Oh. Oh, what was that you said about Bells? Oh, not bad. Right idea, full toss, count of the bounce. Oh, lefty round the wicket, not his fourth. Oh, that's actually slightly embarrassing. Though. Now you need three out of five. <laughs> but when the going gets tough, the captain gets bowling. Oh, all right, okay. No pressure on you. Okay, Pythagoras. Look at him under pressure. Well done. And on the last ball, and being one point behind, been Dorcious delivers. This is why he's paid the big rookie bucks. <laughs> oh, it's a playoff. And ties the scores at the end of challenge one. So a strong start by the Blues, and a stronger finish by the Yellows, means that the spoils are shared at the conclusion of Challenge 1. Five points each for a tied result. Our team did quite well. We came back from behind to level it up to 3-all. Well, you can clearly see the blue team is rattled. I think uh, early on they're showing signs of weakness. Personally, quite rubbish, but I think the team did pretty well. I can't quite keep my elbow straight, which is a slight problem, I think, when you're bowling cricket. Oh, they're definitely having a go at the moment, I think. A bit of sledging, especially between the older boys, Coach and Benny Rora, because they've been at it a long time. So, yeah, definitely hot at the moment. After the break, a steady eye and good hands are needed for Challenge 2 before it's game on to decide the winner. Before the break, the bowl-off ended in a tie after some inconsistent work from both teams. But redemption is not far away in Challenge 2. Hand-eye coordination is required for the slip catch challenge, where 10 catches will be presented to each team by an opposition batter. Catches are worth one point, or two points if taken outside the slip cordon. All right, yellow team, challenge number two. Fared up well in the last one, equal points. This time, you're in the slip, so I hope you've got it all sorted. Let's get started. Oh. One point, Midge, good movie. Starkey would be proud of that one there, Midge. Oh, gosh. Another point there for Yellow. Oh, three points. Would you like me to change the ball down here, mate? Are you happy? Ball selection's fine. For both amateur and professional, the average reaction time is half a second. Now, this is a Spartan CEO over there, isn't it? And you're sponsored by, is this a bit of rigging going on here, or? Yeah, a little, little lob up. Oh! It's a miss. That's another point to Yellow. 
Oh, that's the way. Picky on the CR. Good effort. In this challenge, the pressure rests on the catcher, but also the batsman, who must land the ball in the assigned area. A point will go to the fielding team if his aim is astray. Wow, come point. on. Pretty good batting game, there. there we have it, last one. I think that's a clean round of ten. Well done, Yellow Team. A perfect round of ten means that Blue can afford to make very few mistakes. Yeah, no crap now, no pressure, you can't drop any. OK, Blue Team, the score to beat is ten. Funnily enough, I can count. There was one drop, but one extra bonus, one of two points, which was outside the area. So, good luck. Perfect round. You're going to be hard to beat. Oh, sure. We've started off with one. That's a good start. The batting team's nervous up it. Oh, nice catch. Pat Peisel takes a beauty millimetres from the ground. It gives the Blues some confidence, which takes immediate effect. Oh, lovely catching there. Three from three. Oh, yes. Midas touch there at second slip. But then Alyssa Healy decides to turn the screws. Oh, oh Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> There's something personal between you two. Did he catch that inside the square or is he backed up into the yeah, that corner? Might be, that could be worth and it. then proof that New South Wales cricket is in good hands. Oh, oh great oh. catching, Trent. Oh. oh. Lovely catch you there, another point. Oh, Gemma. Oh. Now, did that, go, did that go wide? I think that may have gone wide. Wide? I thought it may have been wide. That's all right, Gemma, well left. Great leave, great leave, Gemma. Great set of English hands there at first slip. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Trent Copeland's fifth catch brings the blue score to nine. Really trying to prove a women's cricket point here. Just, just belt the cover off it. Oh, that's it, but that was 11. I think we'd already done 10. That was just for fun. Well done. Nine. Yeah, the yellow team went really well. We're really solid. Um, we only dropped one catch, but ended up with 10 points um, thanks to a catch outside the square. So um, Nick and Ben were solid in the middle of the in the middle of the square, catching all the balls. So um, yeah, we're we're in good stead for the next one. I was pretty pleased with the performance. I didn't drop anything, so uh, that was a good start. Yeah, oh, it, there's no doubt the the cricket guys are showing some great skills, and um, it, oh, everyone's pulling out some great catches and bowls and all that sort of thing. So that's that's a surprise, but uh, no surprise I guess to see the New South Wales guys doing so well. But they've they've been flawless so far. Except for the bowling, in which case I was better. Yeah, so it's three. It was three all in the first challenge, ten to nine in the second challenge. So the third challenge is a must-win for us. So I'm sure we'll regroup as a team, come together, and come up with a good game plan. I think the competition. Uh, people have surprised uh, how well we've got together as a team and how we're competing as a team. I think we're looking forward to the game of cricket. It'll be good. Yeah, look, we just have to regroup. You know, we will get together as a team. We'll have a little little chat about it afterwards. But I think uh, we'll be fine. We've just been underplaying our hands. I think a lot for this uh, last game. So an almost faultless display from both teams in the slip catch challenge, which means the title goes on the line in the final event of the day, indoor cricket. With the amateurs combining with the professionals in today's Move Over Cancer initiative, it shines a light on the importance of physical activity and diet, no matter what level of sport you play. Uh, my role at Cricket New South Wales is a strength and conditioning coach, uh, which involves just basically looking after the physical preparation of the players and getting them in peak condition ready for the season and, and throughout the season to perform at their best. Yeah, every player is an individual and so they come with a different training age, a different training history, a different injury history. Every player we assess and, and we look at what they, they come to us with and where we need to move them along to and then we start to develop a program accordingly, trying to develop better physical specimens to play the game of cricket. Move Over Cancer is a fantastic campaign. Uh, physical activity plays a, a tremendous role as far as prevention of lifestyle-based diseases. The more that we can get people physically active, it's going to have some far better outcomes for our community as a whole. Cricket New South Wales, we manage nutrition uh, through the utilisation of a sports dietitian who comes in and provides some individual consultations with players and works out ways to incorporate performance nutrition uh, into their training program and their playing-based program because nutrition plays a, a major role 
in relation to a player's performance and what they're able to achieve on the field and also on the training park and, and that's a, a really important component of our overall program. Uh, the three things that you could do to be more active are to make sure that you focus upon positive ways to get out and, and forget about the obstacles, forget about the challenges to get out and be active. Let's get out and, and make a, a positive change to getting out there and finding solutions. Find a, a social environment and find that social engagement with friends, with, with other people to, to get out and be active with so you've got some more accountability and you're not letting someone else down. And the third thing would be uh, find something that's enjoyable and, and fun for you to do and provide you with a sense of achievement. Staying motivated and, and being physically active, if you're achieving something and you're finding yourself improving in some area, that sense of success will, will help you to, to, to remain active. With the Yellows holding on to a slender lead, both teams take to the crease in a game to decide the winner of Beat the Pros cricket. Beat the Pros has brought people together today with the aim of raising awareness for the Move Over Cancer campaign and for sharing personal stories of the effects of cancer on every walk of life. I think ultimately uh, everyone needs to look after themselves. Family and health are the two most important things that you have in your life. Um, and without them, you know, you're, you're in a pretty bad spot. I guess the reality is my life, uh, or the life of people near me, has, uh, has been touched, unfortunately, by, by cancer. It cost me my, uh, my stepfather um, and my, uh, my goddaughter, who's, uh, who's only uh, 16, 17, um, has recovered uh, really well. So I guess I've seen both sides of it. I've seen the, the, the ultimate mortality um, and, and then I've seen a, a fantastic recovery. Uh, recovery and, uh, and someone who's come out the other side and is living a really full um, and fantastic life and, and has it in front of them. There's a lot of research that needs to be done, a lot of things that aren't known and so I think anything that can raise awareness of the, the good work that the Cancer Council does and, and the need for all of us to, uh, to be conscious of it uh, is something I'm certainly happy to support. I'm interested to meet a whole lot of uh, professional sportsmen and women and, uh, and, and see how they go about you know, their training, see the facilities. Uh, I've got to say I'm looking forward to, uh, to playing a game of cricket and going through some drills with them. The final challenge gives the amateurs a rare opportunity to share the field with cricket professionals, some of whom have represented their country, in an indoor game of cricket, with the Blues having to win to draw even. This is what we've worked for our whole pre-season, is to, uh, to really nail these guys. We know we're better than them. This is where it matters. This is where it counts. The big players always step up when it matters. Have you all got it in you? Right, yeah. let's do it. <laughs> Well, here we are at the SCG Cricket Indoor Centre. I'm joined here at the toss with Trent Copeland and Ben Rohr. All right, so it's an arm wrestle we've decided on as a reason for the toss, or uh, we can't do that to Trent, actually. His, his arms are twigs, but we'll go with scissors. Oh, beat him <laughs> Both suffering from arthritis. But we'll go with scissors, baby rock. Do you, have you played this before? <laughs> OK, yeah, you got this? It's a bit before your time. <laughs> All right. All right, Benny, we'll have you won the toss, you can have a bat. We'll have a bat. Good, luck. good luck. Good luck. Guy, right arm over. Mate, you happy with the side screen? All good down there? Right, let's play, Paddy. Strike. Oh, yes. Oh. The Yellows get off to a strong start thanks to their amateurs, Nick Tuckfield and Guy Kingsmill. Oh, whack. See you later. Four runs. Four bits. You wouldn't be used to that. Lenny, when are you going to get into the white line fever here, mate? Start bouncing him. But then the Blues turn the tables with Sarah Coit's excellent throw. Oh, that's a serious throw. She never misses. Oh! No. But that is an excellent tattoo there. So that's excellent. Oh, that's out. <laughs> that's out. That is a wide there, but also out stumped. So that's minus one if you're any good with maths. All right, last delivery, Nick. The pros take over, and Alyssa Healy is in no mood for a slow run rate. And that's four. This is very good bowling, Gemma. This is excellent bowling for the yellow team. Oh, that's out. You meant to celebrate that. Just give him a high five, bit of a hug. Well done. Oh, it's a lovely. Oh, it's tipping around. I'll catch it. Oh yeah, just off. Equally, Ben Rora is keen to add to the total. Oh, deft touch. That's six over first slip. It's an incredible <laughs> cricket shot. Oh. oh, just lands on it. Beautiful stroke. Unlucky, that was actually a very good over. And the end of another brutal innings.
All right, blue team, the score to get is 62. I've heard that is the biggest score at this ground. Good luck. Despite the competitive mood of the amateurs and professionals assembled, the game is played in good spirits and the cause is never far from everyone's mind. Yes, Jenna. Oh. The event also reveals the tricks of the cricketing trade, including this fielding intervention from Trent Copeland. The ball has made its way into the fence there. 56 to go. 56 off three, guys. That's six over point. That's a great shot. You know you hit that, man. Oh, just waiting for that. Gonna need some honesty there. Did that hit the fence on the full there? Thank you. That's six there. Great work, umpire. The Blues find themselves behind in the run race. And now professional Sarah Coit and Pat Peisel are left with the task of beginning the fight back. Oh, oh no. We are absolutely yeah. <laughs> getting right, double Oh, yeah. Great shot. 31 again, Paddy. Easy. Oh. <laughs> oh, good start. Nice. Good start, Paddy. Good, good start, bowling. mate. Five sixes will do us, mate. Yeah. yeah. Here's one. Three balls to go. 21 runs required. That's six. Yeah. One ball to go. Oh, that's yeah, six, but it won't be it. enough. Great way to finish. The winners of the yellow team. Valiant fight back though, blue team. Well done. Uh, our team went very well, actually. We got up in the end. Uh, we scored 62 runs, and then I think the blue team maybe fell about 10 runs short at the end. I managed to get a wicket, which is quite exciting. Um, I've been playing cricket for about 30 minutes. Without scoring a lot of runs or um, taking a lot of wickets, I've probably been the standout player of the day. In this challenge, I went all right, I think. I, uh, it was a bit mixed, some good shots, some bad shots, and a few uh, ordinary deliveries too. Overall, in the third challenge, I think we did pretty well. We were just, uh, just conceded too many in the first innings, I think. So despite Blue's courageous fight back, Yellow's lead was insurmountable. And so the overall winner of Beat the Pro's Cricket is Ben Rohrer's Yellow Team in today's Move Over Cancer event. Well, we went down in the end, but uh, it was still a good fun day. We had a lot of, a lot of fun. It was good to meet the guys from the New South Wales Blues cricket team. Um, I think the overall result was pretty shocking, um, <laughs> but it's all for a good cause and it's just great to play the game and have a bit of fun with some great players. It's a great experience uh, to promote a cause like Cancer Council. It's, all, it's just a bit of fun and any way to get it out there, I guess, is a good thing. Australia's got the highest rate of skin cancer in the world. Uh, there's a lot of discussion around you know, breast cancer, prostate cancer, various other kinds of cancer, um, and it touches many people's lives, and I think uh, hopefully the program and, uh, and the campaign gets out to a lot of people and raises awareness of, uh, of cancer and uh, encourages people to look out for themselves.